It is time. Welcome one and all to the Intel Open World Beijing Grand Finals. It has finally arrived. Four days of intense Dota action will finally culminate in a best of five series between the two remaining teams. Four days of Dota has been leading up to this. Welcome back, folks, to Gamers Without Borders 2022. We are here for the final day of this section of the tournament that will lead later on into Alan and Riyadh. Take it away! Let me talk about Sidoraku. I mean, this team, they come out of nowhere, they adapt midday. They are looking on fire right now. They are the ones to watch. Yes, they're in people's sights, but what I love is flexibility. I think that's what's going to make champions. Not just the ability to pop off and enable the Fragger, Waltzy, who's got some phenomenal stats, is the fact that they are always able to adjust mid-flight, like they've done on day one, as they continue to do improving on day two. This is a team I'm looking to watch. Pretty strong right now. Scares them away. Sonic Wave on the back foot. Queen of Pain in a little bit too deep. The Ray Fire Blast comes out. They're going to find him. Bring him low enough. Queen of Pain able to get away though. The Terrorize. They're going to reset. Forcing them back for the moment. The turn around coming in with a duel. Onto the side. Cookie connects on the two. Able to turn. Once again, IG taking control. The buybacks come out. Ares trying to get back in. Emo gets away once again. Living on 10% HP. Forever and ever. Red Panda chased down though in the trees. Will be hunted down and chopped off the block as they look back towards the Void Spirit. Clean him up as well. And Ares with the all-in buyback commitment, will find nothing for it. Asta just showing sheer determination, stamina, power, as they power through with barely any sleep after a long third day. They come through, they annihilate LGD in the lower bracket finals 2-1, and then plow straight in to dish a destructive blow to XG here, finishing them off 3-1. I can see that the thrills getting to you. I mean, that this has been a phenomenal turnaround. And th this event, like this has meant the world to so many players who've been grinding online for two years, waiting for this. Just put in a few words what this event means to you. Um, well, it means a lot to me because our teammate Shafi couldn't be here. Welcome back to another week. We are here again for more Golden League. What? That can't be. I thought it was done. No, only round one. We get into round numero two. Cross! Puppy Paul! He's trying to keep alive. This might be it. If they can buy enough time for the final elephant, he will do it. It locks in though. He gets a slight sliver and it's too late. Marine Lord! He clutches it up. Three games now on the board for the Lord himself. We need to make a connection you don't have with to the audience at home. Oh, oh, oh.